Now, Stepans was born in Latvia on May 26, 1932. He came to the U.S. and settled in Cleveland, where this edition of the U.S. Open was played. And he passed away February 21st, 1987, at the young age of 54. His rating at the time was 2051. Let's get going. E4, C5 is your Sicilian defense. Knight F3, D6 here, D4. We're going to have an open Sicilian, right? Pawn takes the pawn. Knight takes the pawn. Knight f6, knight c3, g6, your dragon variation, ladles and jelly spoons. So called because of the shape of the pawn structure over here, resembling a Chinese dragon. Bishop e3, knight c6, now pawn f3. Bishop g7 is Bolesky's line. And queen d2, setting the stage for a queenside castle and battering the c1 h6 diagonal. Now, Stepans with kingside castles and bishop c4, a signature move by Bobby Fischer. This is a mainline dragon, but you'll see him play this in the classical. You'll see him play it against knight orfs. Bishop c4 became Bobby Fischer's signature move against the Sicilian defense. Now, let me show you the most common line. Edwards played a6 in a sort of Dragondorf variation, we've come to call it. The old Dragondorf, because you already have dragon and this is Nidorf, right? Kind of morphing the two. The bot does not care for this move at all, as you can see. But the most common move is bishop d7, queenside castles, rook c8, bishop b3, knight to e5, h4 by white, showing the most common line, h5, bishop g5, rook c5, king comes to b1, pawn b5, pawn g4, looking to break things open, pawn a5, and this is very typical where you have black pushing up on the queen side and white pushing up on the king side, these opposite side castle positions. After g takes h5, a4, hits that bishop and it has nowhere to go, but white just keeps pushing, h6, bishop h8, h7 check and after knight takes the pawn bishop can now come to d5 okay let's go back that's a lot of moves i'm not sure how many of those are in the book let's see where we are let the annotator catch up with us so was this book that was book all this is book that was book and that is not book so everything up to a5 is book Oh, this is known as the old line, it's telling me. The old dragon line. Okay. Stepans with a six here. And Bobby goes ahead and queenside castles here in either case. Now queen c7 was played. Not liked by the bot. Bishop b3. And of course b5. Very dragon dwarfish. The bot calling for knight a5. I would think knight takes knight should be playable as well. Let's go ahead and see what it thinks of this. So I'm being told here by the annotator this is inaccurate. And I would imagine bishop takes knight though. And I should be fine, right? It gets a star. Bishop e6. Probably could even get away with taking with the queen here. And he'd probably still play bishop e6. It's a little riskier with the queen because you're in line with the bishop. And yeah, it does give a question mark on that one. So I was my first instinct was correct. B5 was played by Stepans. And knight takes the knight. 
Queen takes the knight, and now knight d5. Of course, he cannot allow this Forkosaurus Rex, so he played king h8. Uh, the bot calling for queen e8. I might have preferred queen d7 to keep the queen at least somewhat active. Well, I guess the problem with queen d7 is I can now still get a fork with knight b6 and then win the exchange. Yeah. So that's why the bot preferred queen e8. Let's come back. King h8 was the move played. Now knight takes knight, which is much better than knight takes the pawn. Knight takes the pawn might be very tempting to play, because after all, it's a free pawn and it hits the queen. But on knight takes the pawn, queen b7, knight takes bishop. Maybe I could play queen e8. Oh, yeah, that's what I'll play. Queen e8, probably. Uh, no, it did like b6. Yeah, because of this right here. No, it doesn't like that. All right, that's what I get for deviating. My point was that knight takes the knight is a lot better. Knight takes the pawn is not as good as it looks. That's what I was trying to get at. See what happens when you don't prepare in advance. E6 was played right here. Interesting. Yeah, because the point is this skewer is looming now that my knight's no longer there. That's interesting. So for that reason, Stepans did not take the knight. He played pawn e6. Well, this already looks horrific for black. Your bishop e6 might have been more hopeful. But the point is I've picked up your knight already, and you've closed in your bishop. So bishop h6 pins the bishop to the rook. So you want to take my knight? I'll take your rookie and eat it like a cookie. Well, he didn't take the knight. He played bishop to b7, and Bobby played bishop takes bishop check, and now king takes bishop, and the knight retreats to g4, and black is already down a knight. White clearly winning already. We're only 17 moves into the game, and it's decisive. Well, here white is threatening queen h6 check, followed by knight f6 and queen h7 mate. So f5 here was played. Pawn takes the pawn. Rook takes the pawn. And Bobby plays queen takes d6. You could still play queen h6 check, I would suppose, and then pick up the e-man with your bishop. But Fisher, yeah, he's literally a kid in a candy store because he was only 14 years old. And he had so many winning plays that he could have made here that he certainly would have liked one of them. And the one that he liked was queen takes the D-man. But no doubt, queen h6, moving the king away, king h8, for example, then bishop takes the pawn on e6. Maybe just take e6 to begin with, hit that rook. What do you do when you go to the candy store and mother tells you you can only have one candy and there's two dozen different kinds there that are delicious? Come on, mom. I can't make up my mind. Queen takes d6 was Bobby's choice. h5 hitting the knight. Queen e7 check. Rook f7. Queen takes f7 check. Oh my goodness, this makes my head hurt. Queen takes f7, check Asaurus Rex, ladles and jelly spoons. Why? Because when you take my queen, I got the Forkosaurus Rex on top of the Checkosaurus Rex. That's a lot of Rex. And it looks like Stepan's Rex the game when he plays it. Har, <laughs> har, 95 check. King e7. Knight takes queen check. Bishop takes knight. King's rook to e1. It's all over but the crying ladles and jelly spoons. This was just sheer decimation. Bishop d7 was played, and rook takes the bishop. Who cares? I'm up a whole bishop. I don't mind. Wow. He's showing his opponent, I'll give you back some material, bud. That's how much extra I have. And so, yeah, clearly black is lost and he resigned right there already what a game what a game 
Bobby's accuracy in this game was 94.2, and his single game rating assessment was 2,700. White really outplayed Black in that one, taking advantage of what Black gave him in the opening, and he just overpowered Black in the middle game, didn't he? So there you have game one in your pocket just to show after takes, we're going to go ahead and grab that pawn, and it becomes some pretty easy pickings from there. I'm getting at least, if you try to save this pawn, I'm just coming behind it. 